Okay, hello and welcome to my first tutorial about drawing. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a frontal view of an anime female face. And I'm going to be using a program called Easy Paint Tool Sci for this. Uh, some of you may have heard of it or have it, but um, it, you can also use this tutorial to help you just drawing with pencil if you prefer to do it that way. Alright, so here I have my program and I have, I'm starting with a circle for the head. Um, and you always want to start with a circle so that you get a nice round top to the head and so that it isn't too flat or too small. So once you have your circle, you can start kind of forming the outline. Now with this, I always think that it's important for a female face to have it kind of open and rounded, uh, not too like pointy, the chin shouldn't be too pointy, um, and nice and symmetrical. So you just kind of come around. I like to do both the sides first to make sure that they're pretty even. And I'm just sketching this right now. I'm not going to be inking or anything today. So you come, sort of come around. Alright. And the chin can come to a just point in the middle. Kind of fill it out on the sides. Okay. Now once you have that, then you can move on to the neck. And the thing with the neck is that you don't want to make it too thin. Or else it, it won't support the head. That happens a lot in anime and it kind of bothers me. So, okay, we're just going to do a little neck there. Okay. And then when you do the ears, uh, the same kind of thing. You don't want them to be too small, but you also don't want them to be too big. And you want to put them right at the bottom of the head there. Sort of right where the, the jaw starts to curve. So the hair. And the first thing you want to do before you start the bangs is you want to establish sort of your part for the hair so that it looks more natural and it's not just coming from everywhere. So mine's going to be right here. I'm going to do some side bangs. That might be a little bit, uh, might be a little bit far over. But um, just put it wherever you want. You could put it in the middle or on either side. So then you want to start going in and just doing some nice little sketchy streaks. And um, you'll notice when I start doing the tops of leaves that they all sort of originate towards that initial dot that I drew. And you can make them come down kind of low. Um, it's kind of cool if they like swoop across the eyes a little bit. So on this side I'll do the same thing. So once you've got the bangs decently how you want them, um, okay there we go, then you can go up and you can start on the rest of the hair. Now I'm going to make the hair kind of short so it doesn't take me too long. And you want to keep true with the part. So the part goes like right up here. The rest of the hair. I'm going to go down. And I'll just keep it here. What I was saying with the bangs. Um, you want to sort of just keep it going towards the same area. You don't want to put these over there and then the parts right here because then that would look odd. And you can make a few like wayward strands because no one's hair is perfect, not even anime characters. I'll give her a little side ponytail. So if you want to do a ponytail, put it on the side in this case. You want to sort of do some hair that sort of overlaps each other. So like... I'm going to do a ponytail and I have to kind of show how it's getting gathered. Okay, now we're going to go into the face, which is the last part of this. So, add a new layer. Oops. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'm going to change the color so you can see better. The green. Alright. Now, for this, first of all, you want to set up where you're going to have your eyes. And to do that, I usually like to draw a little base point. Sort of start up here. Depending on how big you want them to be, mine are going to be pretty big. That's just sort of my style. And down here, almost to the bottom of the ears. So the eyes are going to be somewhere in between there. Just sort of keep them the same size. So you start, and you want to start sort of far towards the this side of the head so that the eyes aren't too close together. And depending on what kind of eye you're doing, I'm doing a nice shoujo eye. Just kind of want to get a, ga a basic shape for that. And you can have a little eyelash so it can be kind of pointed out here. Then I usually do it rounded on the top. For just a general happy expression. 
And then you can kind of do a, um, I guess like a, an oval shaped thing. This is like the inside of the eye. The iris, I guess you'd call it. And then you do the bottom. Now, as you can see, I made mine a little bit smaller than my guidelines. And that's okay. If you want to change it, then that's fine. Okay, and then you can go in and um, sort of fill this around so that you have a nice dark shape for that. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you how to uh, fill in this eye. So after I got my eyelashes in, then I'm going to go and first of all, I'm going to establish sort of a point, a place where the, the color of her eye is, the iris, inside of here. And I usually do a U for that, and I usually do a little bit bigger on one side than the other side. Alright, so once you've got that, and sort of start sketching, just filling that in. It's okay if you scratch into a little bit. In fact, we want to do some little texture in there. And as I mentioned before, it should be darkest sort of at the top and the bottom of the eye. And in between, you can sort of lighten up a little bit. All right. And now we're going to do the most important part in my personal opinion, which is the shines. And especially for girls, the shines are usually very prominent in anime characters. So you want to get, I'm going to just use my eraser. Right, I usually do one right here and there, but you can really do them however you want. It's too big. Okay, so I'm just going to do sort of a little one here. And you can see I, I kind of overlapped it over into this area, this white area of her eye. And I don't, that's just a kind of cool effect. It makes the eye not look so flat. Um, you can do it as big as, or small as you want. Uh, so then I'm going to do a little one up here, not very big. And you can do some some cool stuff. A little one in. So the shots are pretty much up to you. Um, everyone has sort of their unique way of doing it, and it's sort of what makes your style is the way that you do the eyes. It really is with these kind of characters. So I'm going to do a little triangular one right there. Looks kind of cool. All right, so I like that a lot. So I'm going to pause the video and draw the other eye because we're running out of time here. Alright, as you can see, I now have, I finished the second eye, and um, I edited the size up a little bit, and I also erased some of, the, like, the extra stuff that was in here, which, and I also added in some eyebrows up there, and you want to make sure that the eyebrows are um, what you want, because they can really change what the person's expression looks like, even more so than, like, the eyes or even the mouth or anything. So, um, now I'm going to do a mouth, and you want it to be higher up on in between here and here but not too high and you can do like a little blank spot in the middle just make it look a bit softer and also the other thing that you might have seen a lot is um, a little bit of a um, outline of the lip underneath and if you want to you can do a nose I don't always do a nose with the girls I usually just do a shadow but you can do it it's really small just sort of the tip of the nose um, and then when once again when you color it then you would do a shadow behind that so you could see really where that was all right, so um, now you can go in, and once again, uh, you can get rid of sort of the rest of that extra stuff that's unneeded, like well, like the dot for the bangs and the, the these sides right here. And there you have your face.